What's up guys? It's me, Jekka Morales, and for today, I'll be showing you how I use the mobile application called Entrack Studio. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Track is an application, it's a music production application that you can download on your phones, tablets, or on your computers. It's a user-friendly application where you could do your own music productions and where you could also record your own covers at the comfort of your own homes. Now I'll be showing you how I use this application. So I'll be showing you the basics on how I record my own covers using the Entrack Studio. So as you can see, I have two versions of Entrack here on my iPad. I have Entrack, which is the free version of the application, and also Entrack Pro, which is the paid version of the app. They have the same interface, but some of the features are disabled on the free version, and you will be getting a lot more options on the Pro version of the app. So for this tutorial, I'll be using the Entrack Pro. Alright, so when you open the application, you will have this option to start your song. So you could either record an audio, create a beat, compose, use loops, play keyboard, or play drums. So I'll be choosing record audio. Alright. So as you can see, we have one track over here. So this is where we will be recording our voice. So to record your own voice, you could actually use any types of microphone that you have. May it be a professional one or a condenser microphone, a dynamic microphone. But for my case, I'm just using my earphones for this one. Just a basic earphone mic will do for this. So I'll just be connecting my earphones to my iPad. And there we go. We're all set to do our own recording. Okay, so first step is to import your instrumentals. So you must have your instrumental readily available on your device so you could easily import it on the Entrax Studio. So to do that, we just have to press the three lines over here, then click on Import Audio File. There you go. Then I'll be choosing this instrumental that I have here, which is All About the Bass by Mega Trainer. Alright, just wait for the conversion to be done and we're all set. So we now have our first layer, which is our instrumental layer. Now up next is to add another layer for our vocals. So all you have to do is press the plus sign over here. There you go and click Add Audio Track. There. So once that's done, we can now start recording our voice. So as you can see, there is a red button on this track. So that means that we are recording currently on the track. So if we transfer it on this one, our voice recording will be overlapped on our instrumentals. And we don't want that to happen. So, so we need to choose our vocal track, like so. Alright, once that's done, we have another button over here that looks like a speaker. So this is actually our in-ear monitor. So if you want to hear yourself while recording, you have to toggle it on. But if you don't want to be distracted with your own voice, you can turn it off. And we're all set. We can now start recording. Now, to start your recording, all you have to do is press this red button over here. Because you know I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, 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 bass. All right, so we are now done with our first layer. So now, if in case you guys want to add more layers, like another vocal layers for your voicing or for another type of instrument, all you have to do is press the plus sign over here. Just click on add audio track and now we can now record another track for our audio. So in my case, I'm going to add a second layer of my vocals. So let's try. Let all the boys chase in all the right junk in all the right places. I see the magazine working the you know that thing ain't real, you know I'm mixed up Cause you got beauty, beauty, so 
So raise them up this every inch of you is from the bottom to the top. Okay, so now we have added our second layer. Now I'll be showing you how to put effects on your vocal tracks. So to add effects on your vocal tracks, all you have to do is to choose the track where you want to apply it. Then click add EFX here on the same track. Now we will be having this interface at the bottom of our screen. Then all you have to do is press the plus sign. Now we have a lot of options here. These are the default effects that Edtrack already has. So, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be choosing Half Weaver over here. And you can still adjust it depending on the sound that you want to achieve. And for this one, I'll just be choosing the large ball effect. So now I will also be adding some effects on our second track. Just the same as the first track. There, large hall. Then I'll be adjusting the volume of the layers. So I'll just reduce some of the volume over here of the first track. And add more volume on our main vocals track. Here. And yeah, let's listen to it. So now I'll be showing you how you could save or export the audio file that we've recorded. All you have to do is press the tree line button over here and choose save song slash export. Once done, you can choose a song name, your file name, then you can type any file name. Audio mix down or cloud file. There you go. And yeah, and we're ready to save it. Just click on the save button over here. And our song is ready for publishing. So that's how I use the Antrax Studio Pro to record my basic song covers at home. You actually don't need a professional setup to have it done. All you need is your iPad your earphones with microphone, and of course, Antrax Studio Pro. There are a lot more features that we haven't touched on on this application yet, and I'm very, very much excited for you guys to try it as well. So you can download it on your phones, tablets, or on your computers. And just in case you are not yet ready to avail the Pro version yet, Antrax has a free trial for everybody. Everybody is welcome to download this application and explore on music production and music recording. And if you guys want to learn more about the Antrax application, all you have to do is subscribe on this YouTube channel. Let us know in the comment section what other features of the Antrax Studio Pro application you want us to explore on next. And we will be uploading it here on our YouTube channel. And that's it! So once again, my name is Jenka Morales and I hope you guys learned something new from me today. And I hope to see you guys on our next video. So, bye!